Sano is with us, former FDNY commissioner. It's a sad Tuesday in Paris. Unbelievable what happened, how that happened, what went on there. We asked the former commissioner, who was a legend in New York and a great, great guy to join us. Sal, welcome back to the show, my friend. Always, uh, always an honor to have you with us, sir. Good morning, Joe. How are you? We're good. You know, trying to get through what happened, man. Very suspicious. But before I even go there, uh, Mr. Commissioner, what what do we know what happened in Paris? How does this burn down in 2019, Sal? Well, Joe, it's it's 2019, but the church is 900 years old. Yeah. And, you know, it's got there's, there's so much. It, it was from, from what I what I read. It took 52 acres of timber to build the inside of that church. Can you imagine? Wow. Uh, it's a forest fire within a church structure. Mm-hmm. And, <clears throat> you know, it's, people were looking at TV, and I, as I was looking at TV, millions of people saying, what's going on? There's no water on the fire. What are they doing? Yeah. There's so many other things you have yeah. to do before you can get water on the fire. I'm sure traffic was horrendous around there. You know, the island is, uh, the, the cathedral is on sort of a, like a little bit of an island. Yes. So access to it is, is difficult. Uh, to find the actual origin of the fire. They wanted to get the workers out of there. There's so many things that are going on before you put water on the fire. And, you know, people that have never been in front of a fire building, people that have never commanded firefighters and worrying about their safety as well as the people's safety. Yeah. It's such a difficult operation. And, you know, I, I, I've worked with the firefighters from Paris. You know, that we, we became very close after September 11th. They came here and supported us. Yes, sir. And, we, and it's a very small community. I, have, I don't have to tell you, Joe. Firefighter community, very small community throughout the world. And I saw their training methods. Uh, I've seen how they, you know, plan for fires. They're very good. They have a very good fire department in Paris, extremely well trained. So, again, I don't know the intricacies of what happened as far as fighting a fire, but I do know, even in New York City, it's one of the most dangerous operations there is when you have to fight a church fire because there's so many pitfalls there, mm. large open areas, hidden voids, uh, the possibility of collapse. And, you know, they, I'm sure they had to have a, they, they were evacuating people around there as a collapse zone so that if something did collapse, uh, nobody would be injured. There was there's so many things going on. I, I felt so, you know, so bad. Uh, they emphasized with the people that were charging that fire. And, and you know, I, I was talking to my uh, my pastor last night and uh, he says, you know, the whole the whole Catholic Church is in mourning over, yeah. over what happened there. Yeah. But he yeah. did say, we will rebuild. You know, it's it's an iconic church. It's, yeah. It means so much more than to people than just a church, and they will rebuild. Uh, do you think that this could have been tied, the fire, to the renovations that were happening at Notre yeah. Dame? Yes, I, 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 I think there's an extremely good possibility. You know, one of the you know, we we've had our uh, share of fires and construction sites on, sta- on on in New York. Yeah. And we have a very very rigid uh, procedure in place, you know, for buildings under construction. And it's very possible, you know, where they they could have been cutting, they could have been welding. Uh, somebody might have been smoking and accidentally tossed a cigarette. Oh, There's so man. much combustible material up yeah. there. It's very very possible. You know, it's early. It's right now. It's early to say what the cause was, but it's extremely possible and probably likely that it started because of the construction. And, and Sal, any victims, do we know, any human casualties? They, uh, from from what I gathered, as of late last night, there were no injuries. Uh, I'm sure because of the way the firefighters had to, you know, work, uh, some of them would probably have some injuries, mm-hmm. but there was no life-threatening injuries as of last night, which is good news because, uh, like I said, the first thing on their mind is we have to get everybody out of here. Yeah. And, you know, during Holy Week, Joe, I'm sure that that place was very crowded during Holy Week. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Commissioner, just to be clear, so they're watching the fire burn, right? And, and we all watched it on TV like so many millions did around the world at, at the Notre Dame church burning like that and and you can't and and this is ignorance that i'm speaking to you from uh, sal you can't uh, we thought is the helicopter going to drop water and then they said yeah. they can't because it's too dangerous with people around is there there was no way that you could put some kind of substance on that there was yeah. no way to do uh, that correct did you, joe did you did you see how high up that fire was as well yeah and, you know and i know people uh, would tweeted that we should use uh, air tankers and all. Yeah. First of all, water is extremely heavy. A gallon of water weighs almost eight, eight and a third pounds. You dump 500 gallons of water on there, you're putting 4,000 pounds of water. If you happen to, and it's not an exact science, believe me, this isn't like, you know, you got a, a sight on you, and you say, okay, I'm going to put the water there, and you get it exactly right. where you want. Right. You know, they're flying, right. and if that water misses, and it hits another structure, or it actually causes more of a collapse in the building. It's a dangerous operation. You know, when wildland fires with open space 
and a lot of room. It's not as dangerous. And we still warn people about heavy drops of water, you know, hitting mm. firefighters as well. Yeah. So it's, it's a very dangerous operation. And, and in, a, in an urban environment, it's yeah. even more dangerous. How did they tackle the blaze? They went well, they, they use, if you saw Joe, they used the towel ladders, you know, uh, they call them elevated streams. Uh, and they, you know, they have some portable nozzles as well where they set up. And they, they, they call them high caliber streams. They have a lot of water with, with a lot of uh, nozzle pressure so that they can get to that extreme height. That's extremely difficult. You know, people say, oh, there's water all around. They should get it. It's easier said than done. You know, you have to have pumps to push it. Yeah. And, and, and I'm sure, Joe, uh, knowing the uh, Paris Fire Department, they had a plan in place. You know, that that's, you know, like when we did the renovations at uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, major renovation. We had a plan in place before we started that, you know, we had fire watches, we had hose lines stretched in certain spots, and we, we knew that if something happened, but, you know, that's all well and good. But sometimes even the best laid plans yeah. don't always work out. Yeah, and but I'm sure knowing the Paris Fire Department, um, I'm sure they had a plan in place. Mm. Um, I'm sure that before the renovation started, they set certain standards that the construction people would have to do. Yeah. Uh, but, again, it's different. You saw all that scaffolding. Scaffolding is extremely dangerous. You know, you, you, to navigate it when you're working is one thing. To navigate it when you're fighting a fire mm. Totally different. And no sprinkler system. We don't know, Sal, correct? No, they, I, I'm sure, Joe, I'm sure they didn't have a sprinkler system in that building. Uh, you know, it, it, the building that old. Um, you know, we just put the sprinkler system in St. Patrick's Cathedral with this last renovation. They have a very intricate system now when they're at, you know, in the attic area. Very well done because um, it's, it's all wood up there as well. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm, I would be willing to say that they didn't have a sprinkler system in there. You know, Sal, you're a hero, man. And and I got to go here, and forgive me, you know, you're a hero of 9-11, a true warrior, Sal Cassano. Uh, the, uh, are you suspect of, of, of this being, and again, this is complete conjecture, uh, you suspect that this could possibly have been some form of, form of terror? Well, Joe, everything is possible, but I'm looking at, you know, how many fires there are on construction sites. Uh, so I, I say it's a good possibility that it started accidentally, but, again, in the world we live in and a lot of things that are going on in Paris, anything's possible. Yes, sir. They'll, they'll figure it out. This is the, they had workers on the scene. They're going to be questioning people. They're doing it right now. Yeah. Uh, they'll figure it out. Sal Cassano, we love you, man. It's an honor to Thank have you, you on the show. Frankie Five Burrows says hello. You know, <laughs> dinner in Staten Island. He's saying it right now. You know, so, Mr. Joe. Yes, sir. I grew up on olive oil. I heard you advertising the olive oil. That's what we grew up on as kids. It's olive oil. So Botticelli, <laughs> man. Botticelli is the best. We're gonna get your bottle just for that, Commissioner. <laughs> Thank you for your stellar service Take to this care, great Joe. city, sir. Listen, have a happy Easter to you and your listeners. Bona Pasqua. God bless. Bye-bye. Guy, welcome, brother. How great, you doing, brother? Hey, great to see you here. You and I, and the look at you from John Jay College of Criminal Justice. So, and and this is what you what you're doing over there is spectacular. Well, but let me, I got to tell you, you're from Woolwich. Bergen County, Woolwich, Northwest Bergen. Oh, I love it, man. Yep, that's God's great. country. Yeah, it, you know, <laughs> it, it is beautiful up there. Not so much tax wise. Oh, no, no, oh! we just cut the check this <laughs> yesterday oh, for the federal government. Yeah, we got whacked. Here. It doesn't stop, no, man. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, and Bergen, Essex too, you know, yeah, and yeah. it's creeping into Hunter out yeah, there too, yeah, yeah. Jersey baby. But we stay. Yeah, we Do we, stay. W- w- were you born up there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, in Hackensack. So. What, what, what hospital? Hackensack. Look at you, the local guy. I love Pasek, it. General. Go, d- <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> You weren't no, you're not. You weren't. I was Pasek General. That's not even there anymore. No. You're too young for that. Yeah, Glenn is Glenn Corbett is associate professor of fire science at John Jay College, and we appreciate you were on the Waldwick uh, Fire Department yep, as well. Yep. God bless. Chiefs, yep. Thank you for your service, no, man. You. Yeah, to everybody in Bergen County, all the firefighters and first responders, and including right here with the Commissioner Nigro and the FDNY. What happened in Paris, Glenn? I, I, I'm very I'm suspect. I'm, I don't want to be conspiratorial. Suspect. What are your feelings of what happened in Notre Dame? Well, I'm I'm sort of inoculated from conspiracy theories after 9/11. Yeah. So, because uh, you know, I heard just about every conceivable situation blocks away from here. But as far as this situation goes, I mean, obviously they're going to need to do a pretty thorough inquiry. Of what happened? I could tell you that there's a long history of uh, houses of worship, churches, synagogues, what have you, mm. falling victim to fire under when they're under renovation. I mean, we got unfortunately. People who aren't following the rules, doing appropriate things, and you get you catch the roof on fire, and that is the end of it. We had the synagogue fire, Central Synagogue in Manhattan, here in the late 90s. It burned exactly the same situation, burnt the whole roof off, and the stern. 
And there was no nothing suspect there, correct, now, if I remember? Now, no, but, I mean, you always, you know, listen, we don't know if it was, you know, uh, an intentional act on a worker's part. We don't know any yeah, of these things right, yet. Right, so right, right. the point is that they got to do a lot of interviews and figure out what the heck happened here. Man, I, I, I don't know how this, uh, it, 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 so it's uh, renovations, right. fire. Is there a sprinkler system in place, Glenn, no, do you know, in no. some, not during renovations and most like of that? The, and not even, not even most of the uh, churches and things have that kind of protection. That's what they need. So I'm hoping that after this fire that you know they'll consider putting them in because they're the best protection as a matter of fact the cathedral in washington yeah, yeah uh, just yeah. tweeted yesterday that they're going to finish off their sprinklers based upon what happened here in, in you paris mean a lot of these cathedrals and no, basilicas don't. don't have it. you no. know what you're right sal cassano right. former commissioner of the right. fdny said they they just saint pat's just put in yeah, just a recently, sprinkler system yeah. now yeah they're ma- that's the problem is that you know they're massive buildings and the fire in this case is way way above the floor and it's really hard to put out and you can't get access to it quickly so, so. You, you're looking at, at it scientifically, yeah. at, at a fire and yeah. what could happen, but yeah. and nothing suspect that you just deal with. I mean, that. you leave the door open right now. So right now, I mean, from my perspective, you know, they need to put a lot of people on the ground, interviews, videotapes, all that kind of stuff to see what they can figure out what happened. Because, again, you can't rule out intentional acts, but you can't rule rule them in either. So, you know, until you get the until you've done the full work. You know, I love you you have a resume like I always wanted, man. I'm looking oh. at it right, but no, look at this. Look at you, you, you went <laughs> <laughs> Thank you from Bloomfield <laughs> SNL up in the Caldwell's SNL Rutgers University. I love this Walwick Volunteer Fire Department, and now and now look at you over at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. So, what have we learned since yesterday? Is there any new information that you're hearing in regards to Notre Dame? Yeah, I think um, you know the, the the fact is is that apparently this morning they said the fire is effectively out at this point. Uh, we know that there was a lot of heroic acts on the part of the Paris uh, Parisian firefighters, particularly in those two bell towers, because uh, they were under tremendous, um, they, had, they had tremendous problems. They had, of course, large embers, big chunks of wood burning oh. flying into the towers, and Man. plus they had the radiant heat. That's the heat you feel from the fireplace, that heat you feel from it. So they did a spectacular job because oh, it's all wood inside of that, too, on top of it. So had that caught on fire, then your towers would have probably... Uh, gone up as well. So you know, what I'm thinking about uh, Glenn. I'm thinking about the uh, Basilica of the Sacred Heart right there yeah, in Newark, Newark, which is hopefully well, we say Newark, right? In Newark, <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Where where I got married. Uh, uh, wow. You know what? Though that I wonder. They uh, hopefully they're listening and they're going to put some of these yeah. preventative steps in yeah. like that. But clinically, you're just saying it looks just like a fire because it happens with renovations all the time. It, it, it's a pr- unfortunately, it's a really regular problem. I'm gonna, so. I, 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 well, I got to let you go, but yeah. and thank you for being here, Glenn. But yeah, but it, it, a little, a, a little ember. They don't see that burn starting to burn. No, and that's that's the problem. Is that um, you know we need to have what are called fire watches. People wa- literally watching for this, and they got to be really vigilant. That's yeah. the thing. I mean, this yeah. is this kind of yeah. thing can yeah. happen as yeah. has happened. Yeah. So yeah. you guys just focus on that. You were on CNN yesterday, and yeah. uh, I know. Did you get the car that we sent? this morning oh that's right we i'm so sorry that the thank you man it's radio babe <laughs> glenn th- Park and Parker, right thanks for your service thanks to, to the great state of new jersey thank brother you. thank you, thank you. Uh, and great to have you here hey it's a 952